Hello everyone, this is Joe for Soft Corners here today and uh, for today's video I'm going to show some pickups from the last several days and um, I'm pretty sure I'll get this video up today but uh, just in case I don't while filming this it's uh, Tuesday November 22nd and today is actually my birthday. Um, nothing of a milestone really, I'm turning 39. Um, kind of falls into, I mean, most people, as you start to get older, just, uh, just another year older, it's no big deal, like, but I always try and, like, I mean, I'm very thank thankful for everything I have, and, I mean, every day, and, um, just, like I said, just for everything I have, um, but it's always nice to kind of just I don't know, every year my birthday, it's kind of like take a couple days where it's, I don't know, kind of just celebrate yourself a little bit, I guess. I don't know, um, not to get too deep here or anything in this, but just overall, um, just always look forward to it. And, um, you know, maybe like do a couple extra things you normally wouldn't do. So um, I had a really good weekend. Um, uh, went out to eat with my wife and family and, um, um, by special request, she made me some, uh, birthday pumpkin pies this year. So, uh, had a really good, great birthday on that end. And then also, um, Saturday, um, set up at a local, uh, card show at our local mall here. Um, so set up there and, sold some stuff and then was able to buy a little bit of stuff and then with um the profit from the show and then uh some money from some birthday cards and stuff uh visited a a hobby shop I, it's a little bit farther out of the way but still probably I should get there more often than I do but um yesterday I picked up some really great stuff so I think I'm going to split this up into two videos showing what I picked up at the card show and then showing what I picked up at the card shop yesterday. Um, but I was really, really excited just to make this video just cause, um, got a lot of great deals on stuff and normally don't have a ton of pickups at one time, but able to, like I said, with coupling my birthday with, um, selling some stuff at the show was able to pick up a lot of stuff and like I said it's some great deals I think so anyway instead of rambling on for too long I'll start so it started off um normally my friend uh Bryn, Bryn sets up with me uh we kind of share two tables together um but he wasn't able to come this time and then we have another friend Scott that um normally sometimes is like a third table with us but um so he was able to come this time but kind of decided he was going last minute so we weren't all together but um throughout the day both spending a lot of time at each other's tables looking at stuff and uh I bought some stuff from him early and then he bought some stuff from me late and um we made a pretty big trade which on both ends we were happy with so that will be last but first um so this was just this is a stack of 48 uh 1961 tops um most of them have a little bit of this scuffing there. Um, and mostly just commons. There's a few, I think, Hall of Fame manager cards and a few of the cards with, like, um, the multiple players on. Um, I mostly have been trying to just... Picking up anything for vintage sets and mostly just trying to focus on the 50s. Um, but... You know, being that it was two friends kind of working deals out and stuff and both giving each other good deals on stuff, um, ended up getting most of these for like 50 cents a card. Um, he had a binder full of them and I just picked out all the ones I didn't have and so it was 48. So I'm not going to go through all these here. I'll just show these off then and um, when I get to my 19, get to 1961 and um, my showcases, uh, which will be I think two or three years away from where I'm at now. Um, also ended up with this. Um, 
this card still I think does not present terrible, but um, really looking <laughs> deep at it, it has a lot of issues and there's some water damage up top here. Um, I'm not gonna take it out of the sleeve because I did once already and part of the W fell off. So um, being that it's just gonna stay in my collection and the binder, I don't know. I might just try and glue that down <laughs> somehow then, but um, definitely pretty rough Robin you know, rookie card here, but um, did not own one of these yet. And I got this for $2. So in whatever condition, I couldn't turn that down. So really happy I got to pick that up. And then, so I definitely, <laughs> um, with several people joke around kind of about our lack of focus. Um, you know, uh, Shane Shoebox Legends, um, there was a video he showed one time and I, I just said, I, boy, I thought I lacked focus. And he said, you do not want to get in a lack of focus contest with me. So, um, to me, the times when I kind of lack focus and buy different things kind of off the beaten path of what I normally buy, it, it just a lot of times ends up being just something different and fun. Um, sometimes it's small projects that I, that I might have did it a day or two when I saw stuff or picked up a couple cards and never really went on with it. But, um, obviously I love vintage and, um, as you'll see later, I, I started picking up some different stuff besides just normal set runs. Um, then I also wanted to get back to, when I got back into the hobby in 2013, I was just... I mentioned this a couple videos back, but I was just opening boxes just to open them and looking for big autos. Um, so, I mean, I always enjoyed autos, but then once I started selling like a lot of the bigger ones off, then I thought, well, it doesn't make sense to keep looking for more. Um, but anyway, so a new kind of focus, not focus maybe, but a new kind of side project that I was doing is just trying to, to look for some of the autos of guys that like, either Hall of Famers that are, their autos are pretty cheap or guys that weren't Hall of Famers and just were either, you know, Hall of Very Good Guys or guys that throughout my childhood, like in the 90s and early 2000s, getting a little older there then, um, that I just thought were, you know, really fun to watch. Um, so I found a bunch of autos from one guy that was set up there that kind of fit in that category there's a bunch of Phillies ones but we'll start off with the non-Phillies ones so this is and a lot of these I'm being that I'm very late to the game and doing any of this I'm never going to be able to collect some of these iconic sets like the whole sets or anything like that so just picking up kind of um autos here or there from some of these sets I think is kind of cool too so this is uh 97 Donner Signature Series, and this is Garrett Anderson. Um, this is, uh, and I have to look into this set more because I've never heard of it, and I think the design of it is really nice for autograph cards here. Um, so this is 2002 Tops 10 uh, Barry Zito. Again, just guys that had really good careers and for periods were somewhat dominant or had MVP or Cy Young type years and to me I just feel like it's kind of neat autos to look for uh, so the rest that all came from this same lot are all going to be Phillies autographs now so these were a lot of cool pickups to me um, this is from 2018 Topps Archives fan favorites um, Mike Lieberthal so this kind of when I describe it in a way is almost what I want to kind of chase is the fan favorite type autograph series. Maybe not directly from the archive set like they do, um, but I think I will look for a lot of those because they have a lot of just really cool subjects in. And overall, I mean, a lot of people pull hits like this in a box that costs a hundred and some dollars and are not very happy with it, but just picking them up then for five to ten dollars is something that's pretty fun to me so um 
Uh, this is from 2009, Allen and Ginter. This is Jeff Jenkins. Uh, not a Philly for very long, most known for being a Brewer, but still was part of the 08 World Series team, and I thought a really cool card being on the Ginter Mini and being framed. This is a 2010 Topps Peak Performance Shane Victorino. This is a 2000 Flare Showcase Fresh Ink, Pat Burrell. This one's on card. So I thought it was a pretty cool one. There's a little bit of damage on the back I found then, but like I said, these average about $5, $5 a piece or so, so I'm not gonna complain about that. <laughs> and then this, just the um, design of the card. It's still a sticker auto, but it has some nice shine to it. This is 2006. Upper Deck Special Endorsements, Carlos Ruiz. Um, I mean, just really was a great catcher and anchor of that staff for so many years. And ended up with a decent amount of clutch hits in his time too, so. So then these next three came from my buddy, uh, Troy. Um, I've talked about him before, usually has a lot of non-sports stuff. Um, I, there was one or two things non-sport I almost ended up getting, but I stuck to all baseball, but um, he gave me a great deal on these three. So <clears throat> this is 2001, I believe. Yeah, 2001 Upper Deck SP Authentic Chirog Chirography, a Darren Nurstad. I always remember his season, which I believe Ichiro broke then, but, um, well, actually, I have to go back and look now, because I, I know George Sisler had the hit record. I don't remember if Erstad broke it, and then Ichiro did, um, or if he was just chasing Sisler. I don't remember, but, I mean, you know, I think it was the 2000 season was, or 99. I'm not sure. I should have looked that up before I started the video, but, um. I just know he had a year with a ton of hits. He was a fun player to watch always. So this one I thought was neat because I also have the Mike Schmidt from the set. So this is the 2001 Triple Threads. Ryan Howard. Relic Auto and spells out October Hero there. And then they always kind of try and describe I mean this one was pretty straightforward sometimes some of the words they spell in the front make no sense but um, just uh, talks about his 2008-2009 post seasons in the grand scheme of things while he played I <clears throat> he was fantastic for a lot of years he was I mean, and didn't start till I think 25 or 26 because he was kind of blocked by Jim Tomei for so many years. But um, had an MVP year and then a bunch of great years. Um, but then later in his career, just they started shifting him and he just couldn't ever beat it. And looking back, I probably always gave him a hard time about that. Um, just why couldn't you go over the go the other way but all in all looking back on his career for um kind of as short as it was I mean it was a pretty great career so um, and this is the last one from those three card pickup this is from 2000 upper deck legends legendary signatures and this is a Vlad Guerrero senior autograph so um, always loved watching him play just it swung at literally everything and you know always had the bare hands no batting gloves and was just really fun to watch had a cannon of an arm in right field and so I was happy to pick that one up on card signature um so like I said, starting to, <clears throat> those were kind of my 
venture off the beaten path into some different things. I just, like, I don't know, just getting back into autographs like that, just of some of those guys like that, just to me is really fun. So, but um, then going back to the vintage stuff, um, like I said, I still picked up some stuff for some of the sets I'm working on, but at the same time, just picking up stuff from sets I don't have yet, um, some different issues. Um, so there's a father and son there that always have vintage, and for me, it's actually a little bit too high end. Usually, they have binders of stuff like the complete for sets and a bunch of graded stuff, but <clears throat> normally kind of a little too high end for me. But um, they had a stack of Redmond cards, and I hadn't owned one of those yet, so this was at a pretty good price. So I figured I'd pick up the Robin Roberts. Still has the tab on. And these are just really great looking the color on them and just the artwork. Definitely would like to look into picking some more of these up. And then my last pickups from the show um, were, uh, I mentioned earlier, I did a trade with Scott. Um, just always nice to, you know, be able to like I said, we both gave deals to each other on buying stuff, and then um, both were interested in a couple of things, so we ended up working out a trade. So I had two graded um, Bryce Harper rookie cards left that I I got graded, just hoping they would get 10s. They didn't. Uh, one was a PSA 9. Um, the other was a... Um, yeah, two 9s. Um, so just... I have my binder, my Z folio of Harper's that I'm going to keep. Um, but besides that, I was looking to move the other stuff. And uh, he has a young son he likes picking up graded Harper's for. So um, he buys stuff in lots a lot of times. So ends up with a decent amount of vintage stuff from that. So um, some of the stuff that he had, I just picked out and we ended up striking a deal. So I traded two graded Bryce Harper rookies for these three items and very happy with what I ended up with and he was happy with what he ended up with so first is this 55 Bowman Bob Feller I didn't even pull it out of the top load or anything um I didn't notice this well it doesn't go through the other side so I guess just a wrinkle here um but I mean still just the way it presents for 55 Bowman which are extremely condition sensitive I think Centering is pretty decent and the corners are pretty nice. This is definitely the nicest 55 Bowman card I have. <laughs> and just the color on that looks great. So I was really happy to get that. Um, let's see if this will fit in. Going on with some of the autographs. Um, like I said, just some of the fan favorite type cheaper autographs or just cheaper autographs all of famers um and i did not own any of this artwork either so this is the perez steel celebration postcard uh autograph to warren spawn and these are numbered out of ten thousand um Obviously, I've seen lots of people show these off and collect them here on YouTube. I think I sometimes looked at them and thought, oh, I don't know. This is the, I don't know if I'd really like those, but <clears throat> this is really the first time I ever picked one up and just looked at it in hand. Now, this is, the auto is authenticated, but PSA, DNA. And just the way these look in a slab, it's just... I do not think this is will be the only one of these I'll be picking up is what I'm trying to say. So I um, was really happy to get that. Put a up in the background there too. And this for now. And so lastly, um, up until this point, um, the oldest card I have in my collection was from 1950 Bowman. Um, so I don't, I guess, 
call this pre-World War II. I, someone at the show, the one uh, dealer, I usually joke, we were joking around, I, I said I picked up my first pre-war card, but he said technically it's just pre-World War II, not pre-World War I, but um, still by far the oldest card I own now. And this was of a Philly, so I thought that was pretty cool. So this is from 33 Gowdy, Harry McCurdy. I didn't take the time to look at enough stuff like this at the National and just in the circles of card shops and the shows around here. I don't see anything like this normally. So just getting to see, I mean, this is only a two and a half, but just is beautiful. And I definitely want to pick more of these up already too. Um, yeah, there's not much else, else to say about that. Just, um, not, I mean, I think he played for roughly around eight years or so. He only has like a 2.7 career war, so nothing special about the player. But, um, like I said, it was just cool to have a Philly and, um, just the colors on these. And this, I know in the grand scheme of things, there's a lot better looking ones of these out here. So, um, going forward, definitely going to be looking for more of those because, they just really look great. So <clears throat> that's it for this. I will do the rest. This is a lot longer than I thought it was going to be, but um, I'll do the rest in the second part. And um, so look look for that one. I'll probably do that a day or two after this one. And um, just thank you. thank you, everybody, for watching. And just remember, every card can be a great-looking card, even if it has four soft corners. Thank you.